There are so many people that need help, but they needed it most because they were lost. And you have, you know, I say Kenya has a lot of religion, but very little spirituality. You have raised the bar on spirituality and given them hope. And for that, I can only say thank you and God bless you for standing with us. We're not the ones standing with you. You're standing with us because there is no county in Kenya that doesn't have the problem that you are trying to combat of our boys losing hope. And connecting those dots is what you're going to do and we are going to be here to stand with you. We've actually witnessed a practical realization on how you can change lives. Can we give a clap to the... <laughs> Your Excellency, as an authority, we are now learning from you. We'll walk with you this way. We've seen that uh, there's a component of spiritual that does not exist in the theory of how we carry our business. I think it needs to be part and parcel of this journey. Yes. Your Excellency, there's nothing much I can add. We'll learn from what you've done. We'll ask for a bigger budget to run such uh, activities. And the outcome of what you've done is a true testament. What I can uh, call upon is that uh, the, the video that was shown here needs to be shown to the world. The video that is shown here needs to be a learning tool that we can adopt as an authority to use in our endeavors. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Your Excellency, now I will call the leader of majority, Nyandarwa County Assembly, Honorable Mwangi Nyaga, come and introduce the other MCS who have accompanied you kindly. Uh, Your Excellency, uh, pa uh, Pastor Dorcas, uh, Ex to the person who, <laughs> the KTN reporter, I will employ you in my office. <laughs> so that you can be going to these people and you can be talking to them and you can make sure that we, you are the abbas and I around there. The graduates today are entering the final phase of their rehabilitation program that involves killing them in readiness for the job market and entrepreneurship. <laughs> this facility in Nyandarwa, the Dokas Regadi Foundation, that is DRF Wellness Center, will be a benchmark for different programs we shall have in the country. We shall incorporate technical and vocational education and training, sporting facilities, spiritual nourishment, and agribusiness to, to have a balanced and a whole man at the end of rehabilitation. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, just like a normal calf, we have experienced challenges in this work. Key among them being limited resources and a huge number waiting list in thousands who want to go to the rehabilitation center. They have ex expressed a desire for rehabilitation. We have, we have been paying for their rehabilitation and we are working with the ministry so that we get them NHIF card so that they can go to all the accredited rehab, rehab centers, especially those who have been screened. We have like 20,000 who are waiting and they want to go to different places so that they can get, they can get this. So we are looking for resources to pay for NHIF cards and they can now be taken to accredited centers or hospitals, wherever it is, so that we can save our children. Kwa siku nyingi unajua shida hii ya alcoholism haijaanza leo imekuwa shida ya siku nyingi na hakujapatikana mtu mwingine ambaye amechukua shida hiyo akaifanya shida yake wewe kama 
second lead wa Kenya ndio umechukua nafasi ya kupenda vijana that is why i am here kwa sababu mimi ni kijana and i have been thinking about uh, how and why you are very successful in this um, um, in this endeavor of giving the boy child a dignified life unajua wengine kama vile majority leader amesema wengine tunangangana naye na mambo ya sheria tunamwaga pombe tunaambia machifu wafanye hivi ambayo ni kazi yao lakini wewe you have gotten it right because umejua there is a spiritual problem ambayo inataikana ipinganwe ipi, 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 naye kwa njia ya maombi ndio maana upande huu kila mtu wako hapa eh, ni viongozi wa kanisa na sisi wengine tumewekwa pande hii ndio tuweke serikali na viongozi wa kanisa hii viongo, viongozi wa serikali sisi tumepigana naye na machifu wako hapa tumefanya bidii sana na bado shida pombe inatusumbua hasa wacha tuongoze tuongeze na viongozi wa kanisa hii maneno tupigane naye kuanzia maombi tukipeleka tukipeleka mbele is not about religion this one is about saving our children and generation so those who are muslim we are working with the imams and they are doing their job you can see we also have the indians here they are doing their job because this drug money it's everywhere it has transverse color religion tribe it does not matter every county is suffering every country is suffering every continent is suffering we must lead and make sure that we are changing course for the sake of the future